Good morning to everyone. Uh, my name is Patrick. I came from Porto. Uh, and um, at a few years, we started to um, uh, develop uh, one investigation about uh, the heritage uh, cultural buildings on, por on the Portuguese uh, um, country. So um, it was what uh, I will present today. Uh, Rui is not here. Uh, it's my friend in this uh, work. And uh, uh, a small word for him. It's uh, in his home, so um, let's try next time to, to have Rui because his English is better than mine. <laughs> okay, um, this is our web page um, where you can find uh, the, the information uh, about us and about uh, what we are doing. Right now it's in Portuguese. Uh, we will try to put this on English at in in, in uh, a short time, and let's start. I will try be faster to to try do not spend a lot of time. And uh, okay, what we are uh, talking about today, or what we will talk. Um, something about uh, cultural heritage, uh, what we need to do to uh, adapt the BIM methodology to the heritage BIM. Uh, we saw on the last uh, presentation a lot of maps. Uh, uh, we need to um, do a big work to map all information, so it's a uh, boring work. <laughs> so uh, what I will show you is what you see when you work with uh, some web platforms, but what is behind the, this is what we have seen on the, the other presentation. A lot of maps, uh, connections, uh, names, uh, IFC wall, IFC uh, beam, everything. So let's let's see what we can do and see in the in front of this. Uh, okay, um, just like uh, us, the buildings have uh, some problems and. Uh, um, we need, uh, when we have uh, a problem, we go to the hospital, so uh, we are the hospital for the, the buildings, uh, in this case for the heritage beam buildings. And um, at this moment, we have some countries uh, making some uh, works, investigations, uh, about heritage beam, but really we do not have um, a global uh, work, so uh, we don't know what Spain is doing right now, we don't know what uh, England is doing, so we need to start using uh, BIM. Um, same way we using for the normal buildings. So uh, pass the, the message for everyone and try have uh, uh, all countries working on same uh, on same line. Um, this uh, happens on in, in in Portugal at a few years. Uh, this is the monastery of Alcobaça in Portugal. And uh, who, who is the responsible uh, for these kind of things? Uh, anybody knows. Um, but uh, the stairs have uh, 900 years, I think. And someone thinks, OK, I will do another stair, but with concrete. Uh, my question is, is not more easy to do this in steel or wood or something. Uh, this intervention uh, uh, is 
I, I can't repair this because I will uh, broke the, the stone. So I, I, I need uh, to know who made this and uh, see what we can do to, to, to make um, things better. Uh, Dresden, uh, everyone knows what happens uh, and uh, what uh, we have, uh, what they, they made to, to construct, construct again the, um, the, the church. Uh, some uh, highlighted um, uh, steps, uh, I will not talk about, uh, about uh, them, uh, they are on internet, you can see, but uh, here we can see uh, uh, the people uh, we have worked here. Um, they, sorry, they, they, they worked with um, very careful with the, the, the. Sorry, I lost the image. Let's go. Okay. So, um, they made um, the algorithm, uh, very rudimentary algorithm, so some computers to work with the image, another computers to, um, to work with the um, non-graphic image and everything. This, all this information, it was very important to know where goes any stone to, 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 to bring again the church to, to the community. So this is very important and this is the start of uh, what we, we want to, to do. Okay, uh, a simple... Um, schedule uh, for the Portuguese uh, law. We started on uh, 1932 with the first uh, uh, law uh, about uh, uh, heritage and um, and um, what? I won't talk about one of them. Um, I like this word. This works of living authors are accepted. So, in Portugal, in 1932, uh, one, for example, one architect uh, recognized uh, as a good architect, uh, his work is, was not uh, considered a, a cultural heritage building. So it's interesting to see these uh, small words on, on, on the law. Okay, um, how can we put everything working on, sorry, again. Uh, okay, the team. Okay, uh, to, make, to make this or to work on the heritage building, we have a lot of uh, different people uh, and we need work together at the same time. Um, I can't start making the, the architect project if I don't know the historical building. Um, I, I need to know how we can uh, um, make some changes on the, the parts, the, the building. I need an engineer to know uh, the, how is the structure of the building, surveyors, geologics, everything. All these people need to work at the same time. Um, the second image is from the 9,650 uh, um, ISO uh, 
um, uh, standard. And what this uh, means is, uh, okay, we have the point A, it's the appointment party, or is the, I, I call this, is the building, and after this, we have a lot of teams. The B is the, the teams um, or, or the leader teams and after the, the teams to work. So uh, we need work in this kind of, the, of graphic. All at the same time to, to have, uh, the, um, to have uh, a, good, uh, a, a good project and a right project to, to work on the, sorry, again, <laughs> today. Okay. Let's be here. Um, okay, what we need to do? We have graphic documentation and non-graphic documentation. Joining everything of this, laser scannings, photogrammetries, uh, 2D drawings if uh, we have, in Portugal, nowadays we only have 2D, 2D drawings, but uh, yesterday we have done the, the walk in the city and we, we take photos and I take laser scannings. Okay, so everyone with a simple mobile, we can make laser scans or photogrammic uh, scans. With this, we can register what we have done. So, um, after this, we, we need to uh, study the, the asset. Um, yesterday, I remember uh, on the tree cathedral, <laughs> so I made a laser scan of the, the center. And uh, now I can go to some place and study the historical um, things about that, uh, that square. Um, if we have excavations, um, tests, an analytical tests, or all of this information, this joined with the, the 3D models, we have the, the, um, the model for the the, the heritage beam in this case, okay? This is more or less the same, is a, gra a graphic with the, the, um, the um, workflow to, to start and, and finish the, the, these, these, these models, okay? And another graphic for, for the same, so let's go a little faster. Um, we, we, le we have a lot of uh, softwares right now working on, on BIM, uh, but I, I chose two of them. Uh, one, because it's transversal for all architecture, engineer, and uh, everything. It's uh, Autodesk Revit. And the other one is uh, the um, is the platform I, we have used to, to, to work on this project. And uh, uh, why this? Because this one, on our investigation, was the, the software where we can um, join all information, um, and including the model. Um, on Revit, uh, is not so easy to model uh, heritage buildings because we have a lot of non-geometrical uh, um, things. So we need the softwares, uh, open softwares to, 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 to bring these geometries to inside the, the model. So this is uh, a new uh, way to, to see the, the model. Uh, so let's, let's start to, to see this. Uh, one thing, okay, we can see the, the video. Um, right now I'm advisor from Autodesk. 
So today I, I, I do not, I'm not here to sell Autodesk or, uh, no, <laughs> I'm advisor, but I'm working <laughs> with another one. So what we, we are seeing is uh, uh, how they can um, register all pathologies on the, on the building. Um, and uh, with the, this information, this goes to the model. So when I open the IFC uh, file, this kind of information is uh, inside the model. After this, we can uh, put uh, or, or, uh, orthographic photos, so we can have um, um, not a, a real building, but uh, a very interesting image from the building. And, uh, um, uh, you know, they are modeling some, uh, some kind of uh, non-linear uh, things. Uh, another one. So it's, it's interesting to see the, this kind of, uh, of, um, of uh, software doing this. Um, this is very important in uh, two things, I think. Uh, one of them is uh, in, in this web platform, we will have, I, I will show after, but we will have a te technical model and a visual model. And this one is the visual model. It's very important, for example, for the schools, because I can, uh, I can uh, take one model to, to show in a, in, in a, a classroom uh, a building. I don't need to go to the building. I can show the building inside school with the, the information I have. And as you can see, we have a lot of information from the building. And we can, uh, we can show this inside the the school. Okay, this is a plugin made to Revit. That's it's a little fa fa fast the video, but it's more or less the same. Is try pick uh, Revit and uh, do things that you cannot do with the standard Revit you have today uh, when you buy the. Um, the, the software. In, on this, you can see you, we have a point cloud, and the software is uh, it's, uh, loading the, the point cloud and is uh, um, is uh, converting to walls, uh, windows, and uh, all the all the things we have on on the building. Um, on Revit, uh, it's not so easy to work with this kind of information. Oof, sorry. <laughs> so I will go very fast. Okay. To, we, we can use Dynamo on Revit to, 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 to go fast to, to, on the, the modeling and uh, um, use the Grasshopper and, um, and the Rhino to, to do this. Uh, the future. I will show, uh, this is from 11 of this month, and this is the future of Google Earth. Um, so they are working on this right now, and um, it's uh, a, a big step on the, what we want be in a, in a, I don't know, in a year or two years, I don't know time they will need to, to make this, but uh, it's the same, it's have a, a metaverse city um, where you can, uh, you can uh, visit inside the buildings, outside buildings, on the roads, everything. So uh, it, this is the, the future. Let's, let's go. Again, to uh, 
sorry what I have done. Okay, um, the presentation of that one. Okay, the, the search motor have the, the case sensi sensitive to everything we have on the, the file name, so I can uh, put the name of building or uh, the city or the district of the um, of the the building. Um, I will show what we have right now on the Portuguese. Um, okay, this is what we have right now in Portugal to to see any uh, asset of um, heritage building, and uh, what we have done is put everything inside the model. Um, historical evolution survey, um, existent plans, um, photos, um, register pathologies, um, okay, it's that. and I think let's try if this needs to, to work. I will put my file, my user, I think, no? Okay, it's opening. Okay, the, um, this is the, the point cloud for the, the building. Okay, and the technical model. Uh, <laughs> let's try see what we can uh, have here is not the uh, uh, finished. Uh, we have only the historical model. Let's. Sorry, but uh, we are running out. Okay, uh, it's only uh, a few things to. So, um, <laughs> what we can do is connect or disconnect uh, all the. The, the timeline we have on the building and um, we can see how the building grows on the on the, the time okay it's it's much to explain in 20 minutes but after I have uh, uh, the, the personal cards and anyone can have one and access and after I can explain with more detail the, the project. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay.